Howdy team, this is part two of Excel chapter one, and we're working on the homework and we are on step seven. So it asks us to go to B17, I mean B18, sorry. I have column B, row 18 highlighted here for you in yellow. Enter a formula to calculate the amount budgeted for meals. So let's go look at where our meals are. Daily meal allowance is $65. Now think about this. We're going to be at the hotel four nights, but there's still that day of travel, right? So we're probably going to end up adding number of nights plus one. So to do this, we would go equals B3. And remember, B3 is our daily meal allowance of $65, right there, all right? I clicked in the cell again. I did it again. All right. So we're going to go B3, and then we're going to multiply that by, so Shift-8, and then open a set of parentheses, the number of days we, we're going to stay, which is going to be E5, or four days, but we're also going to add one more day for that travel day. So we're going to have B3 again, which is our daily meal allowance, times E5 plus 1, which is our four nights of stay, and one more day for travel. So we come down here to meals, we go equals, and by clicking on cell B3 instead of typing it, we know we're more accurate and we're making the, uh, that cell reference. We're going to go shift eight to make a multiplication asterisk symbol. Then we're going to open our parentheses for me. That's shift nine. And we're going to click E5, which is our four night stay. But we're going to go ahead and plus one more stay for that travel day. And that means our meals are going to cost $325 for those five days of vacation. Let's save step seven. Step eight, in cell D12, and as you know, I like to color it yellow, so I look for column D, row 12, and I'm gonna go ahead and make that yellow. Be careful, a lot of students will make the mistake of starting up here, and that is a blank row right there. So you do want to be on the same row 12 that has numbers in it. In our formula to calculate the difference between the actual budget, which is column C, and the, so that's how much money we really did spend. And the predicted budget is what we hope to spend. So to do this, this is actually a simple subtraction problem. I'm going to go ahead and tell Excel that it's an equation, and I'm going to take C12, my actual that I spent minus B12, which is what I budgeted. I spent $12 um, in mileage to the airport and my budget was $12. So it should come back zero for that. So again, that would be C12 minus B12. All right, so I'm gonna come back up here. I make that just a little bit bigger for you there so you know exactly what we're working on. And we'll just go ahead and go to 10. All right, and so I'm gonna click in cell D12, hit the equals to say, hey, Excel, we're gonna make a formula. And I'm gonna click cell C12 with the subtraction and B12 and hit enter. If the actual expense is more than the budget, the result will be positive. If the actual expense is less than the budget, the result will be negative. And what it forgets to tell you is if the actual budget and the predicted budget are the same, then our over under will be zero. All 